good morning. Greetings to the mighty name of Jesus. It really is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, uh, to be here this morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health uh, and happiness uh, regardless of the situation of the world. As I always say, as Jesus said in his words, uh, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? Uh, isn't that mighty, my friends and beloved, that God promised to be with us uh, in every situation, in every circumstance, Circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every tribulation, he says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee, and no plague shall come by the dwelling. Welcome this morning. Let's give a big hand this morning. Praise the Lord, welcome those who are listening to me from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from the office, uh, on the street with your phone, wherever you, wherever you are this morning, in church or right here, God bless you richly. I release the blessing upon your life, uh, sincerely from my heart, uh, and I pray that God will bless you physically, uh, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area of your life. Uh, I pray this morning that God will bless you and prosper you. Whatever you do shall prosper. I pray that God will bless your homes. God will bless your family. God will bless your children. God will bless you on God will bless you on the job. God will bless your finances. God will bless your business. And whatever you do, it shall prosper. In Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Let's give a big hand to you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be in the name of Jesus. My friends and beloved, I cover everyone under the precious blood of Jesus. For the blood of Jesus is so efficacious. And the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent. That destroys every yoke. And every bondage. And every fetter. And every evil. And every work of darkness. Every spirit of witchcraft. Phobia. Demonic forces. Evil blights. Generational curses. When a first, second, third. Or fourth generation. I break. I destroy in the name of Jesus. Let's give him a hand today. Hallelujah. Whom the sun set free is free indeed. Every chain is broken. Every buyer, every fetter, every evil, and every work of darkness I dispel in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. My friends, the Bible tells us the thief cometh, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. When Christ comes, then we might have life and life more abundantly. This morning, my friends, God wants you to have abundant life. Life. He wants you to have abundant life. He wants you to walk in divine health, happiness, and prosperity, and satisfaction. Is that also my friends? Yes, he wants us to walk in divine health and happiness. But the thief, who is the devil, the thief cometh, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy, my friends. But God wants to give you that life today. My friends, are you having that life? Are you having true peace and joy and happiness? In this world, you will have come to feed uh, peace and joy and happiness. Uh, but only Jesus Christ uh, can give you that true peace and joy. He said in his words, uh, he was wounded for our transgressions. Uh, he was bruised for our iniquities. Uh, the chastisement of our peace uh, was upon him. Uh, and with his stripes, uh, we are healed. I am healed. You are healed. We are healed in Jesus' uh, precious and gracious uh, and awesome name today. Isn't that wonderful? my friends. Yes, Jesus Christ wants us to walk in divine health and happiness and prosperity. Father God, this morning I pray you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Anoint my lips, anoint my tongue, anoint my voice, anoint my body, my soul, my mental faculties as I minister your words. Your words will go forth with dunamis and the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities because there is power in the name of Jesus. 
There is victory in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. And there is deliverance in the name of Jesus. Let's give him a big hand to you. Hallelujah. Let's pray this morning. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, that's uh, my friends, uh, the prayer for today. And right now, let's pray the Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy Lord and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. All men in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Let's give him a big hand to him. And before, before I get into the word of God, sometimes I speak as a prophet and sometimes I speak as a pastor. Yes, I, I've been following America and midterm elections, as I said yesterday. And my friends, something good has happened here. There is a reason and purpose for everything. A question one was asked, when someone asked me a question, will America survive a key person, a key, key player, player? Yes, will America survive the two years? Yes, after this midterm election. Yes, they will survive because what has happened there? We see a balance of power. Yes, the Democrat has taken the Senate. Yes, but the Republican has taken the House. That means voting and decision making. They will have a balance there and will be able to make wise decisions. My friends, how will America survive in two years? First of all, they have to keep the wells, the oil well going again. They have to start make sure they have more oil. Yes, get everything on tap and make sure you get more oil. America has plenty of oil. They have to start digging. Yes, and they have to start producing. Yes, and start getting more oil. My friends, and this is the second thing we need to do is control the border. Yes, that's the second thing in order to survive. The third thing we need to do is avoid a war. Avoid the third world war with Russia and also with China. I see yesterday there was a trap when Poland was bombed. A missile, missile hit Poland. Yes, and when they investigate, when they do investigate it, they say it was not Russia, but Zelensky is saying it was a, it, it is Russia missile, and and NATO is saying no, it, it is it's a missile from Ukraine by mistake. My friends, that's a wise decision from NATO because NATO of 30, 30 countries, if you bomb one, you bomb all. That was a setup, a setup to spark the third world war but thanks uh, to the general secretary who have observed something here and says no that is not from russia it is from ukraine but Zelensky is says no it is from russia but uh, to avoid that uh, my friends we see what is happening someone want to spark uh, a third world war ukraine is going down they have to be careful with Zelensky. yes uh, he wants uh, NATO to get involved fully but NATO has to be careful Yes, and the fourth thing, my friends, which need to be done in the United States is to make sure that the taxpayer money are spent, spending wisely with the war in Ukraine. There is being a dream with this war money going to Ukraine. I do not know how the Senate, yes, and the House will handle that, but that's very important. And the fourth, and the fifth thing, my friends, yes, oh, my friends, for God's sake, and stop printing so much money, yes, and God. God will save America. You will be able to survive for the two years. Yes, that's all for politics today. Let's get into the word of God. And my friends, why am I saying this? America is a super.
superpower of the world and if America fall, all the countries across the world, the 195 sovereign nations, yes, rest assured everyone will be affected, not only NATO, not the third world countries, but even China will be affected and India and many other countries because there's a lot to do with America. So during these two years, they have to be very careful because if they don't do that, the economy will collapse within four months. Let's get into the word of God this morning. In the Bible, it tells us in the book of John, John chapter, John chapter 5, verse 7, it tells us, yes, 7, it tells us, my friends, what it says, for there are three, there are three that bear record in heaven, it's three that bear record in heaven, <coughs> the Father, the Word and the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, and these three are one, and they are the three that bear witness in earth. Yes, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree in one. Yes, my friends, a powerful scripture. That's Job 4, John chapter 5, verse 7 and 8. And let's continue this morning with those scriptures, my friends. Hallelujah. Praise God. There are three that bear record in heaven. Yes, the Father, the the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, or the Holy Ghost, these three, these three are one this morning, and they are three that be witness in the earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood, my friends, and these three agree. In one today, the spirit, yes, the spirit, the water, and the blood, hallelujah, and these three agree, agree, I said, as one. Let us look at each individual witnesses this morning, one of the, the Holy Spirit, yes, John chapter 15, yes, verses 26, but when the helper, when the helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, yes, the spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father. Yes, he will be a witness about me. Yes, this morning, and look at this one phrase in John chapter 15. Verse 26, he will be a witness. Did you get that about me within the hearts of every believer? Yes, the Holy Spirit speaks of them and bear witness about the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. John chapter 16, yes, verses 13 and 14 tells us how be it when he, the Holy Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall bear, what whatsoever he shall bear, that he shall speak, and he will show things to come, and he shall glorify me, and he shall receive of mine, and shall show unto you. Yes, and you look at these two phrases in John chapter 16, verse 13 to 14, my friends. For he, he shall not speak of himself. Yes, he shall glorify me. Yes, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto, unto the constant message of the Holy Spirit. Yes, is here, my friends, is, is Jesus. Is Jesus the constant message of the Holy Spirit? Is go, go to Jesus. Let's give him a hand to the Holy Spirit. To Jesus Christ. This is one of the true five ways you can see in a person indeed filled with the Holy Spirit this morning when they are preaching. Are they pointing to Jesus or are they exalting themselves? My friends, today when they teach, are they pointing you to money making schemes or are they pointing you? Jesus, my friends, half of the Christian music that you label as Christian music, yes, it's not from the Holy Spirit, yes, it's not from the Holy Spirit, the lyrics in these songs are self-seeking and they're drawing further from the Lord Jesus Christ, yes, a true Christian song that comes from the Holy Spirit this morning exalts the Lord Jesus Christ, yes, it uplifts the Holy, the Lord Jesus Christ and it testifies, my friends, of the Lord Jesus 
Jesus Christ this morning. Yes, the Holy Spirit always leads, leads an individual to Jesus Christ. Yes, the Holy Spirit reveals to an individual. Yes, the goodness, the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, the Holy Spirit reveals and witnesses to you, witnesses to you, you the true nature of Jesus Christ. And once an individual knows the true nature of Jesus, you love him, you love him. To know the Lord Jesus Christ is to love him. Let's give him to know the Lord Jesus Christ, my friends, is to adore him this morning. He is a giver of life. Yes, in him, in him we move and have our being today. This is why, this is why to, 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 to a true born again child of God. Yes, the Lord Jesus Christ is more real. More real to him than the air they breathe because the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit attests and witnesses to the reality. Yes, my friends, there is historical proof of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, there is factual evidence this morning that the Lord Jesus Christ died and rose again, that he ascended to be with the Lord. Yes, there is real proof. Yes, and real evidence of this this morning but also there is a witness of the Holy Spirit let's give you a I've never seen the Lord Jesus Christ yes I've seen him with the vision in my hand many have not seen him but he is more real to me than my friends in the air I breathe I have, I've seen him and yet I've never seen him in heaven but I've seen a vision of him more real to me in this world than I live in heaven is more real to me today than I was yesterday because each day I move closer to meeting the one in whom I believe my friends yes and that is the only possible is only possible because the spirit of God being witnesses at the reality of Jesus Christ let's give him a the reality of the Bible the people are not convinced by the wonderful preaching of your eloquent speech. Yes, my friends, it is the Holy Spirit that speaks to people today and tell them that God is real. Yes, it is the Holy Spirit, yes, my friends, that moves the heart of people when they hear the gospel. It is the Holy Spirit that distributes people life, yes, of sin. Yes, my friends, when they hear hear the gospel message. It is the Holy Spirit that reveals to people their desperate need for God, my friends. The Holy Spirit bear witness. A <coughs> preacher once said, my friends, the Holy Spirit makes proud men tremble, yes, and wicked men quake for fear. The convictions, my friends, which are brought uh, their Christ is truly preached. Uh, when Christ is true, truly preached, uh, they are miracles that attest uh, the truth of the gospel. He, he who can make uh, the heart uh, to be cleansed, uh, yes, chaste, uh, and the drunken to be sober, the thief to be honest, uh, and the malicious to be forgiven, the covetous to be generous, uh, and above all, above all the self-righteous uh, to be humble today is indeed my friends the Christ of God and when the Spirit the Spirit does all this and go by the gospel my friends he bear conclu conclusive witness to the power of the cross my friends to the water as a, a second witness my friends the water witnesses CHS states the following, my friends. Yes, on water as the witness, not the water of baptism, but the new life implanted in Christians. Let's give a word of hand for that in the sense we get more masters, the use of the word water, the water that I shall give him. The water shall I give him, it shall be in him a well of, of spring, of spring, of water spring of, uh, unto everlasting life. Uh, where the Spirit of God comes, uh, he creates in a man a new nature, pure and bright and fresh, uh, 
vigorous like a fountain my friends and the fact that this new nature does exist in the multitude of men it is standing evidence today that the gospel is true for no other religion makes men new creatures. Yes, no other religion ever, ever pretends to do it. They may suppose to improve the old nature, but none of them can say, Behold, behold, I make all things new. Yes, and new. Look at the new nature in your life today. Look at how different you are since you receive your new nature in life. Yes, sir. I can only talk about me, but before I met the Lord Jesus Christ, the water of life, I was a mess. You will find me in every hellhole in town. My friends, back in those days, they were not mobile phones, but if my family want to find, they knew. Yes, yes, they need to know to go. Hallelujah, my friends, and they will find, yes, your family will find you different places. Yes, they will find you at work or at some bar. Yes, they will find you at some place. Yes, you used to go. But when, when the Jesus Christ gave you the spring, the water of spring into your life, everlasting life. Yes, bless God that many are changed today. Don't hang around the same place, my friends. You used to do. Yes, don't hang around friends you used to hang around before. Yes, you began to love the Lord. Hate what God hates. And over the years, you will see so many people transform their lives as, as you can see drug addicts become pastors and lead thousands of people to Christ. That is the new nature. Give eternal life. Peace. A peace with God and the Holy Spirit. He holds on the cup of salvation. Let's give a big hand for us, my friends. But we must take it and drink it once, once saved, we will all need to fill the voids, hunger and thirst in our hearts, my friends, hallelujah. And if we feel the thirst, my friends, we must go back to our faith in Jesus Christ and remind ourselves, remind ourselves, yes, of the gospel and the realization that we all, we have all, we all need by faith, the water witness, the third abiding witness is the blood of Jesus, the spirit of the water and the blood. My friends, these are all constant witness in telling us that Jesus is, Jesus is, Jesus Christ is God. Give me Jesus Christ is the giver of eternal life. Yes, Jesus Christ is the propitiation for our sins today. Yes, we can know that these three witnesses agree today as one. Yes, it is in the Spirit tells us one thing, the water, another. Yes, and the blood says something else, my friends. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22 tells us this morning, and without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. Yes, my friends. The blood bear witness, witness our forgiveness, our for your forgiveness, and my forgiveness is because of the blood. Without the shedding of blood, yes, there is no remission, no remission. The undefiled blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, yes, my friends, the undefiled blood of Jesus is the blood that can remove the stain of sin. Yes, the undefiled blood of Jesus is the blood that cleanses from all sin today. Hallelujah. The undefined blood of Jesus is the blood, the very demon of hell. Fears in Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 tells us but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And my friends, with his stripes, the beast with his stripes we are healed. Yes, the blood of Jesus after speaking peace to the conscience, my friends, inflames the heart with the fervent love. Hallelujah. And full of the least men to hide deeds. 
weeks of concentration today, self-denial and self-sacrifice. Hallelujah. Yes, my friends, the blood has such a melting, yes, and such a con converting, yes, and such a sub subduing, such a sub sanctifying and a joy-creating power today, my friends, to every conscience which bear its matchless voice that it remains with the spirit and water, my friends, a convincing witness, my friends, to Jesus Christ, the Christ of God, what can wash away my sins, nothing but the blood of Jesus, the sin of what can wash away my sins, nothing but the blood of Jesus, what can make me whole again, nothing but the blood of Jesus, what can save you today from your sins, nothing but the blood of Jesus, my friend Jesus Christ shed his blood for you and me seven times, yes he shed his blood, he was in the garden of Gethsemane and when he was praying to the father, he began to sweat blood and he says to his father, if it's possible Lord, father, let his cup pass for me, but nevertheless, not my will, but thine will be done. My friends, Jesus sweat blood for you and for me. When he went before the Sahedrin Council, they plucked the beards from his face and threw it to the ground. Can you imagine men with beard? Someone pull out the beard with a flesh. It is that hurtful. It's not that, that they're really painful, my friends. Yes, they when the soldiers make a crop of torn out of blood and ram it in his head and the blood drip to his from his from his head to the body to the floor. My friends, the third, the third time, yes, he was beaten. Then in fact, the fourth time he was beaten with a cat and nine tail. Yes, my friends, 39 stripes upon his back. His flesh was ripped apart from his back and his flesh and blood was on the floor, mingled with the blood. 39 times he shed his blood. According to medical doctors today in the world, there are 39 major sicknesses and pain and disease that is plaguing mankind to death. And my friends, I believe that each each one of those stripes that Jesus took was a stripe for healing. That is why we can say, by the stripes we heal. My friends, let me continue. When after that he was beaten with the 39 stripes, he, they laid the cross upon his back. He had to drag that cross to Golgotha. Yes, there on Golgotha, on Calvary, with his hands on stretcher, they hammered the spike nail in the palm of his hands. Yes, my friends, they blacked his feet and hammered a spike nail in his feet. The soldier ran his spear into his side, and every drop of blood and water froze to the ground. Seven times the sinless Son of God leave heaven with leave his Father in heaven and came to die for you and me to bridge the gap between man and God to reconcile us back to him because we have all sinned and fall short of his glory and there was a separation between man and God but when Jesus Christ died my friends and shed his blood he died to bridge the gap and reconcile us back to himself and that is why Jesus said in his words God said in his words come now and let us reason together he said the Lord though your sins be as scarlet it shall be white as snow though it be like crimson it shall be like wool God says in his words he is not willing that any should perish but all should come to repentance my friends and beloved salvation is a free gift is a gift from God all you need to do accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior for God so loved the world John 3 16 that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life I have a question for you my beloved friends family loved ones and relatives are you saved today 
is your name written in the Lamb's book of life? Uh, uh, is your salvation secure? Have you accepted Jesus Christ uh, as Lord and Savior? Or are you still hanging in the balance? Uh, my friends, the choice is yours. Uh, we have a free choice. Uh, God has given us a free choice. Uh, and we have to choose our destination in this lifetime. God has given us that. Uh, whether you live 70 years uh, or 80 years uh, or 90 years or 100 years, we all have to face it one day. But during our lifetime, we have to make our salvation right with God. Will your home be heaven or hell? Will you, will you spend eternity, my friends? Uh, this life and earth is shorter, but where will you spend eternity? The choice is yours, uh, the decision is yours. Uh, let me pray for you today, my friends. Uh, those who seek unto death. As I said before, Jesus is the healer because he shed his blood and he was wounded for your transgressions. If you seek unto death, and the doctors has given you up, my friends, and say that you will not live. You will die. I'm here to tell you that you will not die, but you will live. <coughs> to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not finished with you as yet. You will live to fulfill purpose. You will live to fulfill calling. You will live to fulfill destiny. The devil will not touch you. The devil will not harm you. The devil will not destroy you. The devil will not destroy your image. Your character, nor your body, nor your health, nor your family, nor your loved ones, because God is with you. God the Holy Spirit will save your life. God the Holy Spirit will heal you today. Forget about what the doctors have told you, my friends. You will not die, but you will live in Jesus' name. Let's give him a big today. My friends, today, if you sick, if you sick with cancer, if you have AIDS, COVID, diabetes, RSV, sickness, you have a respiratory disease and sickness, my friends, if you're suffering with a migraine headache and no painkiller can help you, if you're suffering with arthritis pain all over the joints of your body, all in your knees and elbows and all parts of your body, and no painkiller can help you, I want to introduce you to the healer today. If you're suffering from diabetes and there's no help for you today, you have high cholesterol, low cholesterol, and the tablets cannot help you today. What is your sickness? My friend Jesus Christ can touch you and heal you today. Are you blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame today? Jesus Christ is your healer. Are you suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety? I want to introduce you to the healer today. Are you demon? possessed today and cannot sleep in the night. I want to introduce you to the healer. Jesus Christ is can set you free from every demonic forces of darkness. For demons triple at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes, right now I see in the spirit realm there is a demon possessed person who cannot sleep, who will be tormented by demons. I see those demons are leaving you right now in the name of Jesus. You will have sweet and sound nitrous because no demon can take hold of your body. Make sure after you deliver, accept Jesus. Let Jesus fill your hearts so no demon can come back into your life. In the name of Jesus, let's give him a big anointing of God, the Holy Spirit in this room today. And God says in his words, we must lay hands on the sickest preachers and they shall recover. But I'm here to tell you that God is no respect of persons. There is no limit. There is no barrier. With prayer and healing is concerned today. So wherever you are today, my friends, whichever country you are in, if you can understand my, for my language, if you are in the USA, you are in the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, or any part of the world, and you understand this English language of mine today, 
my friends, I'm here to tell you that God will touch you and heal you and set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. Today is your day for a miracle. Today is your day for a healing. Today is your day for deliverance. Today is your day for salvation. Are you ready? All you need, my friends, is a little faith as a grain of mustard seed. And if you have faith, little faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say to the mountains, Be thou removed and cast henceforth into the sea, and it will obey you today. Are you ready, my friends, to receive your miracle from the hands of God? As I said for the anointing right now in the name of Jesus, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see demons are fleeing right now in the name of Jesus. Those who been possessed with demons, those demons are leaving your body. Yes, they are leaving right now in the name of Jesus. I see the person sick unto death. That disease has left your body. God, the Holy Spirit has gone on that disease and that sickness unto death. You will not die, but you will live. Go back tomorrow and check with the doctors that sickness and disease is gone. I see my people are healed from migraine headache. I see people are healed from arthritis, pain and, and cancer and all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease. I do not have time to call out your sicknesses and pain and disease. My friends and beloved and family and relatives, write me, text me, call me. And let me know what the Almighty God, what God the Holy Spirit has done for you today. Yes, my friends, let's give him a big hand. Hallelujah. My friends, I love you. In the love of God, do have a great and wonderful day. I see you tonight by the grace of God. Amen. Praise God. God bless you richly. And I see you tonight in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. I love you in the love of God. In Jesus' Precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.